What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Alex here from Alex AFE, and today we have another deck profile. Today is going to be the first one coming out for the Divine Z kind of series over here. We are looking at Christianos. So we finally got Divine Z in English over here, and I've been sitting on these and playing this for the past week or so, and I, honestly, this is like really an insane deck. I love this deck. This is so much fun. I, at first, when I saw, kind of saw the energy markers, I was like, uh, I don't really like this too much. Like, this feels like a really kind of gimmicky kind of resource is now given to us. It doesn't really feel interactive, but... I was very wrong. I love these bosses. I love Cristiano so, so much. It's really just a great deck, fun deck overall. So uh, I'm kind of eating my words with that, and I'm very happy to actually be doing that and bringing you this profile. So I just want to credit over here two things. So if you guys want to maybe get a, uh, a potential chance at uh, getting this mat over here, we do have championship versions of it. We are going to be at Gotham City Games on May 10th and 17th. That's on Long Island. So if you're from the city, tri-state area, you want to come down. This is a team tournament. $20 per person, $60 per team. You have the chance to win these mats, additional prizing and such. We'll also be kind of uh, confirmed at the venue. On top of that, uh, this list itself, largely inspired from the artist of this mat over here, Azim. So took very large inspiration from it. Uh, a couple tweaks here and there. And also, I will give you some additional kind of choices you can put in. But I really think this deck is buttery smooth, works perfectly as is. And I'm honestly, like I said, just so, so excited to bring this to you guys. So without further ado, let's hop right in. And just really quickly before we begin, I just wanted to mention that if you are interested in purchasing any of the cards that you see here today, do have a TCG player affiliate link down in the description below. Absolutely no cost to you. You can help support the channel by shopping through that link. Definitely appreciate it. I'll never ask you guys for money, subs, anything like that. So that is a huge way that you can help me. Thank you in advance. And if you are enjoying the content, as always, make sure to leave a like on the video. Possibly consider subscribing to the channel. But with all that good stuff out of the way, let's hop into the ride line now. We are going to be looking at the... I'm actually going with the Cristiano's ride line. You can run really any great zero you want. Just decided to go with that one. Uh, for the grade one over here, Knowledge Seeking Fairy Strawberry. It's basically when it's wrote upon by the uh, grade two. You can draw two cards, to choose two cards from your hand and discard them. We want to be discarding, we want to be stacking up our uh, drop zone because we are looking to kind of put pressure on extremely early and having a large drop zone kind of helps us in that. So I definitely like this card over here. You could also run the Zorga ride line. I was going to mention that later, but I guess you might as well just talk about it now since we're talking about the grade one. You can go for that filter, but overall, I don't feel like it's kind of better maybe to not run so, so many. Like we're running a ton of um, orders. Like you can do that, but I just kind of like this a little bit more. It feels a little bit more natural. And then also on its secondary skill, which you can revive it and bring it back during your turn. If you have a grade three or greater Vanguard with Christianos in this name, this guy gets 5k, so extra little beater does help a lot. Over here, the grade two variety feast dragon. When this guy is ridden upon a grade three with Christianos in its name, you choose a grade one or less card from your drop and you may call it a rear guard circle. Our grade ones are our real powerhouses in this deck. You want to be swinging with that. You want to be getting like live early with that. So this really just helps us do it. Our grade ones are extremely powerful. So yeah, I just like this one a little bit more than getting the order back because you could potentially have orders in your hand, get other stuff back on top of that revive with this guy. It just makes the early game feel a little bit better, especially if you went first, which this deck, I want to say most of the time still wants to go first. Uh, it just makes it feel that much better. And of course, Christianos himself. So let's go over the actual skill of him. So his skill act on Vanguard Circle once per turn. Search your deck, count bus one, search your deck for up to one card, the same card name as this unit, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle your deck, and if you do, this guy gets 10k, so obviously just like all the other trial deck bosses, go get the Persona Ride. You know, this is like low-key pretty good, because you are A, giving yourself 10k power, and just thinning your deck for free, well not for free, but thinning your deck along with that is just super nice in my opinion, you're gaining advantage later, and you basically need it into the later game to kind of just make sure you close out these numbers in this deck are absolutely insane and this yeah just helps us kind of do it it's second skill act on vanguard circle once per turn counter blast i mean sorry energy blast gonna have to start getting used to saying that energy blast four discard the top two cards of your deck choose up to two grade three or less units from your drop call them to rear guard circle so it's so easy to build the board doesn't matter if your opponent retires stuff kind of want them to in all honesty like you can just you know block your front row not have to worry about getting it back next turn it really does not matter there's so much recursion in this deck and having things in the drop is a safe way for us to kind of have it more so like a piggy bank than like a, a drop zone i like to think of it so yeah very very powerful uh i know it doesn't have any mid action battle skills but we're gonna get into the main deck and i'll show you guys how this deck kind of flourishes and plays out. All right, hopping into the main deck now, obviously starting us off right here, we are running three additional copies of Christianos himself. Uh, obviously, you want a Persona Ride. The skill itself kind of lends itself to go search out a copy of itself. You know, no, no questions here. Not really going to spend too much more time on that. Three copies of that in the main deck. Next up over here, the support unit that we got for this guy out of the uh, Divine Z set. It's probably, the, I want to say, one of the better ones, if not the best. Uh, I really, really like this card. Uh, look at the Silverware, too. I might get some more copies of that. That's actually really, really cool with the I feel like it matches his hair and whatnot, but this is going to be Connection Hunter Severin. So Severin is essential to our game plan. Really helps us put our, uh, you know, 
proverbial uh, foot on the throat of our opponent. When this guy is placed on rearguard from drop, if you have a great three or greater vanguard with Christianos in its card name, till end of turn, you may have this unit get 10k. If you do, retire this unit at the end of the turn. Now, again, your opponent doesn't have to be on grade three. You're just grade three. So if you're swinging into a, um, you know, a 10k base uh, vanguard, that is going to be already just like uh, a 15k guard for them. So that's it's it's an annoying kind of number to get around. Uh, that 10k is pretty big because take that persona ride, boom, you're up to 33k. Take that with something else to give it an additional 15k, potentially another t uh, 10k. You know, you're in that 48, 53 kind of range immediately and swinging twice potentially with the second skill makes it really, really nice, which is once per turn on rear guard circle. When this unit attacks, soul blast one, choose one of your vanguards, gets 5k until the end of turn. If your vanguard is standing and a grade three or greater uh, card with Christianos in its card name, will soul blast for the cost at the end of battle, stand this unit. So again, just like all the other ones coming out of Divine Z, supporting the trial deck things, uh, basically Soul Blast, a Persona Ride, and then boom, you get an additional effect. And this one to restand is pretty big, and we're going to show you why as we kind of pl plow through uh, in this deck over here. But this is really, I'm going to keep on going back to this card, so I'm going to lay it a little bit off to the side for myself right there, but I'm going to show you why in just a moment. But getting into our grade twos, that's it for our grade threes. We are running three of this card, a super old kind of order card for uh, Soichio, Nectar of Sensationalism. So. This was a really awesome card in this deck, really kind of helps us fuel and put so much more pressure on. Choose one of your rear guards until the end of turn, it gets 5k for every 5 cards in your drop. And if your drop has 15 or more cards, it gets an additional crit. So that is super easy to do in this deck. Everything is milling, everything is kind of like bringing things into the drop. The drop is, like I said, your piggy bank. Uh, you know, the vanguard skill kind of lends itself to this as well. There's a really nice play style overall. I do like this card. I feel like it is kind of creating such value for us in this deck, and you need to see it at least once per game. Next up here to kind of go along with that, uh, and again, most of this list, I uh, just want to credit him again, is Azim's uh, small changes here and there, you'll see as we go on. But this is going to be three of Inheritance Maiden, Hendrina. So Hendrina, when this guy is placed on Rearguard Circle, you may discard three cards from the top of your deck. Uh, totally great to do that. This helps us early, helps us late, you know, just kind of stacking on that power with the Nectar over here. Uh, also, it kind of vacates itself, retires this unit, so if you want to do the three and then you needed four, you know, pop itself, that's the fourth you needed for the, maybe the crit on the Nectar. Uh, super easy to do that right here, vacates that circle so you can use your, your Vanguard skill maybe too to bring stuff back and then Nectar, so just a really nice card overall. I think that it flows very well with the deck. Once you start playing it, you'll see. It, it's it's super nice. And the thing is too, it's not once per turn that first thing, so if you want to, play one from hand, you know, get rid of itself, put it into drop, then use Cristiano skill. Cristiano skill revives it. It's another three, so it really helps you get into Nectar a lot faster, and I think this is a great turbo card for it. Next up here, too, something just a little bit easier, uh, simpler, Beat Stick. A lot of these cards don't have costs, so to speak. Uh, we save our costs for just very few cards in general, so I feel like this is not a resource-intensive deck. This helps us kind of for that as well. This is Battle Siren Philan uh, Philantia. I think that's how to say it. Just gives itself 10k if you placed from drop, um, if you're a grade three or a grade Vanguard with Christianos in its name. Uh, easily helps you hit like a 33k column on your first uh, ride up over here. It can be potentially even more too. Just again, 20k is nice. On a Persona ride turn, this is a 30k. Don't have to think about it. Just really gives itself a little bit more power for free. Next up here then, we are running into our next grade two. This is gonna be Prevailing Dragon. Just two of these. I feel like you can maybe cut this to one, uh, completely up to you, but at the end of battle, this unit attacked. This unit was um, placed on rearguard by a card's ability this turn. You get to retire this unit, choose a normal order or set order from your drop, put it into your hand. There's a ton of orders we are running in this drop. Obviously, we already went over the sensationalism, but I think that this is just a great card to recur or something, to maybe A, build a field, put more pressure on. Like, you completely have a, a lot of different options to go and do that. So this card is running at a two of for me. And again, helps you kind of just feel your drop as well. Speaking of fueling your drop, the Soul Blast for this is kind of an underrated cost, uh, kind of helps us a lot. Act on Rear Guard Circle if you Persona Road, I'm sorry, Tideline Dragon, if you Persona Road once per turn, um, you can then Soul Blast one, choose one of your other Rear Guards, and that unit gets uh, an additional 10k until the end of turn. So that unit and this unit. So if you want to beat down with him, again, 30k is super easy. Uh, this really helps us. Let's go back to him over here for Severin. So Severin, let's think about this for a second, right? Uh, Severin, I call out off Cristiano's skill, he's going to get 10k, I'm at 23k. Let's, for argument's sake, say we just have 15 and drop, so it's another 15k off of here. I've gotten all the way up to like 25k and stuff on this, so don't don't think it's not possible. Uh, so we are at, what is it, 15, what did I say, 23? Yeah, so we're at 38 over here. An additional Persona Ride makes it a 48, and then on top of that, I'm going to be putting a Tideline Dragon on that. I mean, that's a 58 column, and you, you just saw, like, that's not hard to do at all in this deck. Like I was doing this multiple times as I'm playing through it, as I'm doing my testing. I really think it is very possible. So I like Tideline Dragon, I'm keeping it in here. Uh, I think that two of, it's the perfect ratio. Don't always need it, but when you do see it, it is very good. And you're not really worried about getting rid of it if you need be. 
Next up here, getting into the grade ones, we are a grade three deck, so we do run an Elementaria, uh, unfortunately. Uh, I did actually get lucky enough to pull this from the trial deck over here. I think this is like my 12th one or something like that, and I still I still don't even have enough to keep in all my decks for uh, for videos and stuff. If you guys watch my other stuff, you see sometimes I just flip a card face up, say, oh, that's Elementaria, so. <laughs> but here we are. Uh, I like this new art. Uh, it's the only reason I'm gonna run it. Uh, if you want, you can run any art you want, but this is the effect one over here. Uh, running, I'm playing Vanguard, so you need to be doing that. Uh, over here, I do. I will talk about some budget alternatives for this, but this is going to be the Concealed Noble Philander. So, Philander is super nice in this deck, an 18k beat stick. When this guy is placed on rear from hand, look at the top five cards from your deck, choose up to one card from among them, discard it, shuffle your deck. So, A, helping your drop zone over there helps you kind of work with the Cristiano skill, helps you also kind of potentially work with some of the other orders we are running, uh, just in general, does what the deck wants to do. Its second skill continues on your turn. If you drop us 10 or more cards, this guy gets 10k. I have definitely gotten this live on like turn two, things of that nature. If you're playing Zorga right now, you know this is possible. It's very easy to kind of do in general. I like this. I think this is a great card. I will offer some optional budget cards over here too. This card out of the new set uh, definitely can be slotted in. It becomes uh, an 18k base also. It does cause a counter blast. <laughs> You should have the room for it, the Candle Blast, but in general, I just feel like the anything that's costless helps us just a little bit more, and I feel like this is more consistent a bit earlier, because this has to be on a Persona Ride turn. You could also run maybe something like this over here, again, getting you that extra 10k. I feel like you really need to get the 10k, that's like my theme here. Uh, when it boosts a great 3 or greater unit, your Vanguard, opponent's Vanguard's great 3 or greater, Soul Blast 1, this guy gets 10k. Again, a little bit slower, uh, nothing really does it as Philander. You can retire two other grade 1 or less rear guards, draw a card, this guy gets... Um, an extra 10k, but again, you don't want to vacate your field too, too much. Like, there's certain units you want to keep on there. And then lastly, right here, the munching, uh, marching, oh my god, debut Purete. Uh, again, three or more uh, grade one or less rear guards. This guy gets 5k, a little bit less powerful, but just easier, costless right there. I feel like that's a, a decent alternative as well. I'm sure there are a couple other ones that I'm forgetting. Let me know if you have any recommendations, but I uh, just wanted to kind of throw out some budget options as well, because everything in the deck so far, I think, has has been pretty cheap, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think so, aside from maybe Elementary or whatever, so yeah. Uh, next up here, I think that one of these guys is really good. You're gonna be typically soul blasting out your, your ride line anyway, so I think that this will kind of be in play early, just to give you that extra shield, gets an additional 15K until the end of the turn, making this, um, what is that, an additional uh, 20K shield. So yeah, this is pretty simple, self-explanatory. For the orders over here, uh, in the original list that I was looking at with uh, for Azim, like when I saw it on Twitter, like he was running for the Mythiarchs, and I think that in most Soichi decks, that's absolutely fine. Like you can still run that as a completely valid uh, and like a fine way to do this. But I just feel like the early game, I feel like I like the Soul Blast and the, the recursion of this one a little bit more. Uh, also, again, just like the Soul Blast helps us fill that Soul uh, or that drop a little bit easier, in my opinion. Um, and I do like the Mythiarch, and everything is technically kind of like recurrable because of that other grade two that we were running. So. I feel like we do have options here. Um, I do think, yeah, this was reprinted, so you should you should have access to it. Like, it's only a couple dollars now. Much, much better than it was, but uh, completely up to you. Change up the order ratio whichever way you want. And lastly, for our grade ones over here, just three of the Surging Sharp Fangs. So, Sharp Fangs have 15k base. Uh, this card cannot be ridden, though. When it's placed on rear guard from hand, you just retire this unit. Helps you fill up the drop zone. Again, these are the cards you want to, these are kind of like the discard fodder. These are the things you want to get rid of so that you can call them back with the various skills, whether that be the, the Vanguard skill, that, whether that be maybe like, uh, you know, some of the orders, things of that nature. So I think that this is such a good card. Uh, this really, that 15K helps you uh, put on these like really interesting numbers in general. So uh, I think this is a great card. Early beat stick can be used as uh, just so, so nice in general. Really, really makes the deck flow. So yeah, this is it for the main deck. Let's hop into the triggers now. All right, getting into the triggers themselves. Uh, nothing really too crazy here. We were running four of the, I mean, uh, yeah, I guess the trial deck crits right there. Uh, this are, I was missing one of these. I like, I guess I have so many decks at this point. I'm not surprised, but good thing we did get Cray Elemental. So eight crit total. I'm running two front, one draw. Uh, I just, I'm trying both of them right now. I think I like the fronts a little bit more. The draw, we don't have a ton of draw power, as you can kind of tell in the deck but we're worried more so about pressure and your front row should be standing by the time your Vanguard attacks. So you do benefit a whole lot off that front trigger. This is an aggro deck at the end of the day. Like you wanna be closing out the game. This kind of helps us do it. I feel like this ratio is fine. Like it's completely up to you what you wanna do. What we are missing too is just that fifth attack. So this kind of helps us uh, get there. I think the red OT is right in this deck. You can put the extra crit pressure on with the blue. Uh, obviously the the Stoichio one is absolutely fine too because you know it benefits everything. Kind of the Omni trigger is just so good. But I'm trying this one out right now. I think this is pretty interesting. I think that early game this really puts a lot of pressure on too. So especially if you go first and hit that, it's kind of crazy. 
Lastly, right here, we are running four of the Cherry Elf support. I mean, three of the Cherry Elf support. Uh, basically, any any heals you want, and then one of the, the original crit ones. I think it's just more powerful. Um, I think that right now, there's a lot of things that do multi-attack, but I, I worry about a Vanguard that has that multi-attack. We have an okay matchup into some things, like Luar has it right now. The... Um, Oh god, what is it? The the bug order um, out of this main set. I forgot her name off the top of my head, but she gets an extra crit too. There's just a couple things that feel a little funny, so I kind of like that one right there. But really up to you which one you want to choose. Go for it, whichever which way you want to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I really enjoyed this deck right now. I think this is like super nice. I feel like this is really like a tier 1.5 kind of deck. Uh, it's not kind of some like dinky trial deck garbage throw the rest of the cards out kind of thing. I feel like this is actually a very, very playable deck and I have so much fun with it. So thank you guys again. This is Alex from Alex AFE signing out.